which means you are watching Sal Says What, filmed on location at Funny Books, Comics, and Stuff in Lake Hiawatha, New Jersey. You can stop by funnyrama.com to learn more about this great comic book retailer. And don't forget to stop by comicfix.com where you can go set up an account, pay one fee, and you can read like a hundred or more comics made by independent creators all across the internet. Fantastic stuff there. You can find it right there at comicfix.com. Check it out. This week I want to talk about the first issue for Marvel Now, Moon Knight number one. Now I have always kind of had an affinity for the Moon Knight character because he's cool looking. Almost kind of like my affinity for Spawn. Because he looks really cool, I thought, hey, maybe he's an interesting character. And more often than not, I am incorrect. However, Moon Knight number one by Marvel Comics from Warren Ellis and Declan Shelby, this title has a lot of promise. And now, when I read the David Finch, Charlie Houston, Moon Knight number one, and I read up until, I think, issue six, I told the creators, I actually wound up talking to Charlie Houston in New York Comic Con right before the book came out, and I said, if you can make Moon Knight cool, I will buy every issue you write. And I did. And then Houston quit, and the book went to shit. And in fact, the title, when I think back on it, is kind of insane. Brian Michael Bendis tried to reinvigorate the Moon Knight character again with art by Alex Maleev, and... To similarly critical effect, uh, not especially well received and kind of really off the rails, Ellis makes his efforts to completely divorce himself from any previous incarnation of Moon Knight, and I think that is to his and this book's benefit. The story so far of using Moon Knight as kind of this very Batman but Mr. Fixit type character and having him use his expertise as a former superhero and as a military man investigating crime scenes. Actually a unique take on the character that I have not seen anywhere else. While I did liken him to different characters that he reminds me of, he's his own character in a way that I've never seen Moon Knight before. The story thus far is actually quite engaging and if Ellis stays on the title and if he keeps this up I might actually continue to buy Moon Knight which is something I don't think I'd ever say again this is some great art the compliments the writing in such wonderful ways the panel composition overall tone of the book is so atmospheric and plays to Ellis' strengths of this kind of noirish Batman-y quick-witted character story I'm, I'm really I'm really on board so if you have had your misgivings about Moon Knight in the past if you have had any curiosity about reading Moon Knight, I would suggest picking up Moon Knight number one and giving yourself just that one shot and seeing if it's worth picking up because damn. From Marvel Comics, Moon Knight by Warren Ellis and Declan Shalvey. This is a title that you cannot miss. I want to thank you all for watching everybody. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course stop by LittleHouseOnline.com and FunnyRama.com and don't forget to stop by ComicFix.com to check out an entire library of independent books for very very little cost. So check it out.